Well, you guys got another video here for you. A computer myth that most people still believe today. I get asked all the time is, why have you got so many files on your desktop? And I always say to people, it doesn't really make no difference uh, in slowing down my PC. A lot of people say it will slow down your PC if you have too many files stored on there. So let me quickly show you what I have on my desktop. I have 143 gigabytes of files actually on my desktop right now they're all video files they're all files i'm working with with other projects and things like that it is a bit of a mess it's what i call organized chaos but once the project's finished i generally uh, store them into their correct folders but at the moment they're just all over the place here so let me quickly hide these and i'll show you some of the stats in task manager here and you'll be able to see so remember this is with 100 uh, 43 gigabytes of data that is on my desktop and this is the memory settings right here you can see the memory here and what i'll do is i'll copy all of these files over to another drive and we'll restart the system and i'll do a boot up test as well and i can honestly say that having files stored on your desktop or having your desktop empty doesn't make much difference so we'll have a look right here at the memory and the CPU and again what I'll do is we'll reboot the system we'll do a timer and we'll see what sort of time we get with all of the data stored on your desktop now remember that's 143 gigabytes that's a lot of data on your desktop so what I'm going to do here is we're going to quickly restart the system that is the monitor screen right there with all of that stuff stored on there so I'm going to get the phone into position here and uh, there might be a slight few milliseconds of delay of me clicking on the start button and pushing the uh, timer there. But you know, this is not a strict test we're doing here. We're just doing a basic test. So let me go ahead and we'll quickly hit restart and I'll quickly push this button here and I'll speed it up. And you can see when it gets to the desktop here, I'll push stop and we got one minute 17 seconds yes i know it's taking quite a bit of time to boot up that's just due to uh, the monitor itself the alienware monitor for some reason it goes on a bit of a hunt for the signal and it takes a bit of time so i'm going to copy all the files over from my desktop to another drive right here so now all of my desktop is completely empty apart from a couple of shortcuts which shouldn't really slow down the pc i'll quickly show you so you can see here and we can take a little look so let's go ahead and we'll go to the desktop right here go to properties and you'll see now that there is only 56.0 kb on there which is nothing really so we don't have a lot on there so what we're going to do is we'll do a quick uh, restart test here and we'll take a look so first off Let's go ahead and take a look at Task Manager here after I've restarted so you can see. And this is with no files on my desktop. There's not much of a massive difference here in memory. And I don't see any sort of massive difference across the board to sort of send alarm signals to me to say, hey, you need to clear your desktop because it's slowing down your PC. And we're all blessed with plenty of memory to use today in 2024. So let's go ahead and quickly restart the system, push the timer, and I'll speed this process up and we'll see what speed difference there is. And you can see it's about 117, 116, around about the same, nothing too crazy. There was no clinical winner there and there was no massive difference in sort of delayed time on startups or even massive memory usage to say that you shouldn't be storing data on your desktop so in my personal opinion it doesn't really matter so much today in 2024 compared to what it probably did you know 20 years ago but was there a problem 20 years ago i'm pretty sure no one even bothered testing that theory years ago there might have been a difference in the way the operating system works and how it stores files on the desktop and how it uses those on boot up so maybe there was some truth to it many years ago but in 2024 it doesn't really slow down your PC whatsoever in my personal experiences with it. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you and cleared up that myth that people like to 
throw around on the internet still in 2024. There's plenty of other ones out there that people are still believing today in 2024. It might have been the case 20 years ago, but today it's not so much of an issue today with modern day computers. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful to you. Let me know in the comments section below whether you want to see more of these myth busting sort of videos. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Leave your comments down there and let me know what you would like to see and I'll do my best to make them videos for you. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.